All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over five easy work from home job companies to get started working remote. And the first one on the list is going to be freecash.com. Now I know free cash sounds too good to be true, but the reason I included this one on the list is because it's really easy to start making your first yeah. few dollars online. And sometimes that's all somebody needs. They need to get that first little win, making a little bit of remote money, work from home money. And then after that, they'll have the confidence to make it full time. And this is a website that rewards users for completing simple online tasks, such as surveys, playing games, watching videos, or trying out new apps. And it provides an easy way to make extra money online without any specialized skills. And although I do admit it does have a sketchy name, if you check its Trustpilot score, it has a 4.6 out of five star rating, which is excellent. Now it doesn't take much time to do these. You can just do it in your spare time and you'll make somewhere around 35 to $50 a week. And one of the cool things is you can cash out in many different ways. You can cash out with gift cards, you can do it through PayPal, you can even accept cryptocurrency. So some of the pros of this one are there is a wide variety of earning opportunities, there are easy and accessible tasks, and it's extremely flexible when it comes to working hours. Some of the cons of this one are earnings can be relatively low depending on the task that you pick, and there's limited availability of high paying tasks. So overall, I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score because I think it's a great way to make your first few dollars online. I think it's also kind of a good side hustle to just earn a few extra extra bucks and it's extremely easy. But with that being said, it's not something you can turn into a full-time income. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a great way for you to monetize your browsing skills. That's right. If you already spend a bunch of time browsing random websites on the internet, you can actually get paid to do it. And that is going to be userfeel.com where you're basically going to be giving feedback on different websites and their usability. Now, to be honest with you, you should probably use more than just userfeel.com. There's other websites such as usertesting.com that essentially do the same thing. And a lot of the time what people will do is they'll sign up for all these different user testing websites and that way they get more gigs. Now on user feel specifically, you'll make about three to $30 per test. And each test typically takes 10 to 20 minutes to complete. So in terms of the ROI for the time you spend, it's very good. The downside here is you're typically not gonna get that many tests. And that's why I recommend signing up to a bunch of different websites. So basically they'll give you a test that's usually some kind of task that you need to complete on a website. And then you give them feedback on the task and what using the website was like. So overall, the pros here are excellent pay for the time. Also, all countries are accepted and there's no minimum cash out requirement. Cons here are there's not enough tests available for you to make a full time income or not even close. And they typically do give preference for people from certain locations. So overall, I'm going to give this and just doing user testing in general an opportunity score of seven out of 10. It's yet another great way for you to make extra money on the side, but it would be hard to turn it into a full time income. Hey, what's happening? Quick video break, I wanted to talk about the three day remote job challenge. So I'm really excited about this. I'm going to be doing it the 28th, 29th and 30th of July. And basically, I'm going to be teaching you how to get a remote or a work from home job in three days. That's going to be the challenge. You're going to be learning directly from me. It's going to be a zoom session. And at the end of each day, I'm going to have an assignment for you to do the next day. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and check it out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Hope to see you there. With the next one on the list, you can actually get paid by proving that you're not a robot. And that's going to be 2captcha.com. All right, so you know captchas, those annoying little puzzles that you have to solve when you go to websites and for some reason the website thinks you're a robot. And then if you solve the puzzle in a human way, you get to actually use the website. That's exactly what this is. So this is another one where it's very easy to get started making money online. And this one is also gonna be better for people who don't live in an expensive country, like a first world country. And the reason for that is because the pay is relatively low. You do have to solve thousands of captures per day just to make a bit of money. But again, this is another one where it's very easy to start making money. You basically have zero requirements and you don't need to have any skill other than being a human being. So yeah, the pros of this one, it's easily accessible. There's no specific skills or experience required and there's flexible working hours. The cons of this one is it's very low pay per captcha and it's extremely repetitive. Overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of five out of 10. The next one on the list is a website that I have used personally many times, and that's going to be iWriter.com. And this is a great website to get started writing professionally. And you can write anything from blog posts to newsletters to YouTube scripts. And this is a great one to get some experience so that you can put it in your portfolio that you've actually made money as a writer. And it's flexible and also very easy to get started on this website. Now, when you get started, the pay is relatively low because you kind of have to work your way up and prove that you're a good writer. There's different tiers like Elite, 
elite and premium, etc. And those are the ones that you want to work your way up to. But you can make up to $40 per 500 word article. Now the pros here are it has a flexible schedule. There are diverse writing opportunities. So if you want to get experience as a YouTube script writer, for instance, this is a great opportunity for you. And it's very easy to get started. The cons here are there are variable pay rates and you are going to start off getting paid relatively low. There's also competition for writing assignments. And there's a lot of self motivation that's required. Overall, the opportunity score here is going to be an eight out of 10. I think writing is an incredibly valuable skill, not only as a job, but also if you want to start your own business. Now, the next one on the list is going to be your opportunity to get paid to play video games. And you're going to be working as a play tester for Bethesda.net. Now, Bethesda is a huge video game company that's put out games like Fallout, Starfield, and Elder Scrolls. And there's honestly a bunch of different websites that you can do this play testing on as well. So this is another one where I'd recommend signing up to a bunch of different websites if you want to try to make more money. So basically, it's pretty simple. You play the games and then you nice. provide valuable feedback afterwards. And they do this not only to get out bugs, but also to make sure that the games are fun. And play testing is incredibly important when it comes to launching a successful game. And not only can you play test games that haven't come out already, for instance, Starfield was a game that was heavily play tested. But on top of that, you can play test expansion packs before they come out as well. Now, according to ZipRecruiter, full time play testers make about $39,000 a year. And of course, if you're doing it as a side hustle or part time, you're going to make less than that. But still, it's pretty good money for doing something that you'd probably be doing anyways for fun. So the pros here are you get paid to play video games. You also get to contribute to game development, and it can be really good experience if you want to work in the video game industry later on. The cons here are variable project availability. The feedback can be somewhat subjective, and it may require you to play games that you don't necessarily like. But overall, I'm going to give this an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Now, by the way, I made an entire video about 17 work from home job companies that are always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.